Hey guys! Um, I feel really weird doing just straight up vlog type things, but I wanted to post something just to say thank you because my Mad Love Harley Quinn video, the Somewhere Bat Free, just hit 100,000 views, which for my little channel is a really big deal. So thank you guys very much for watching. Um, that's exciting. I, I don't post very much, so if you're a subscriber, um, thank you for staying subscribed, even though I post like twice a year. Um, the reason for that is that I am in grad school. I'm a year away from being an official bona fide clinical psychologist. Um, not psychiatrist, but close to Harley. Um, and that keeps me pretty busy, and I love it. It makes me really happy. It's a cool day job. But um, I really appreciated having YouTube as a place to post silly creative things. Um, so thank you for watching them, if you're a Batman geek or a musical theater geek, perhaps, um, and for posting nice comments. Um, it's really meant a lot to me. Also, respectful comments. I appreciate that. I was a little worried about posting the nightgown video on the internet, but I trust geeks. You're good people. And um, I've actually gotten probably more marriage proposals than really creepy comments, and not that many marriage proposals. But um, yeah, that's been really sweet, because my parents watch my YouTube channel, so I've appreciated that the comments are respectful. Um, I also, for people who propose marriage, this is how I've responded, but I am very happily married. Um, we just had our fifth anniversary. Um, but he's a good guy. He's a geek. I stayed within the geek community. He's a physicist and a techie. And um, if you're a big Batman geek, you might appreciate when he proposed. Um, there was a lot of geekiness going on. There were references to, like, The Simpsons and Weird Al's UHS and uh, Monty Python Search for the Holy Grail. But the first thing that happened when I walked in the room was there was a big box and he'd rigged up um, a car antenna with a little, I just did spring cleaning, so I just found this little mannequin hand on top of it. So just like the original Tim Burton Batman with the present that the Joker gives to Vicki Vale. So the ring wasn't on the hand. It was in the mouth of the man-eating rabbit from Monty Python Search for the Holy Grail because that's how we roll. It always confuses people. But so yeah, married, nice geek. Um, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. So I have just a few little announcements and thank you gifts for you guys. Um, I made a list so I can remember. Um, and I'll post links to all of these down below. But um, first off, this has always been on the information for the Mad Love video, but thank you, thank you to Smegabyte, um, a lovely YouTube lady. Um, for a year the video was up in really, really bad quality, like me holding up a camera to a TV quality bad. Um, and I met Miss Megabyte actually at the St. Louis auditions for um, Who Wants to Be a Superhero. Oddly enough, later we both did auditions for Dr. Horrible's Evil League of Evil, because apparently we're very fickle and have no good-bad allegiance. But um, she's really sweet, and um, she actually has a great YouTube channel with some fun music videos for Batman the Animated Series stuff. She has a Joker Harley video and also, I think, Scarecrow, Ivy, Talia, and Hatter. So those are fun. You should check those out. Um, she's very lovely. Let's see. Oh, and also, I'm always plugging Influence Films, but check out Influence Films. We did a funny video um, where Harley goes on a blind date with Pee Wee Herman, and since then they've done, like, a uh, Carmen San Diego movie. I know up upcoming they have um, a Michael Jackson tribute that features Tinkerbell, so if you're a Disney geek or a Michael Jackson geek, that might excite you. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Ooh, I've been doing a little voice stuff lately, which is weird, because, like, I'm not good at impressions, but because I dress up like Harley Quinn sometimes, people ask me to talk like her, so I'm getting a little bit better at it, but, um, I've been doing some stuff for a Batman abridged group on the YouTube. Um, I'm old, so I didn't really know about the abridged stuff, but the kids seem to like it. Um, go check them out because they actually have a really great Joker who, yeah, sexy, sexy. He does a really great job. And they just got a new guy who's been doing um, Two-Face and also did Wolverine for them. He's also just amazing. So um, I've been doing some Harley stuff with them. They just did two episodes all focused on Harley, so that was kind of fun. And for those episodes, I wrote um, a little parody of a song from Chicago. So you can hear that on their channel right now. Um, and I'll actually sometime... In July, I'll post um, a more extended version of the song with a little bit of me in costume and some fun photos of Harley, things like that. So look for that in July. Sorry, I never post. Um, oh, and this is lame because it's like a year away, but you might have noticed I just posted a Dr. Mrs. The Monarch video. 
Um, it was a song I did for San Diego Comic Con this summer, but then I put together the video for a costuming convention back in May, and um, I know that next May the convention's going to be Broadway themed, so I'm planning on putting together something musical theater parody with Harley, probably the somewhere bat free song again, but kind of acted out for that in May. So that's a year away, but look for that. Um, let's see what else. Oh, um, so one thing, <laughs> I'm looking at the demographics for the Mad Love Harley Quinn video, and um, there's kind of a range, but there's this really big block of like 13 to 17 year old girls, which like I know a lot of you who watch the video, you might, you might be around my age or older, I'm creeping up on 30, um, but I know a lot of you are probably like younger folks who got excited about the Joker because of the Heath Ledger. It ain't nothing wrong with that. I probably saw 10 Things I Hate About You like five times in the theaters when I was in junior high. But um, if you are in that 13 to 17 age group, I don't know where you guys are getting your Harley Joker information. Like some of you might have just caught the end of the new Batman adventures. Um, or or might have seen Harley on The Batman, which I know some old schoolers probably don't like. I thought it was really cute. I thought her intro episode and the, um, the little musical montage was set in the woods on fire. I'll put a link to that, too. If you're old school Batman the Animated Series and you haven't seen that, you should watch it. It's really fun. You don't have to love it. You can still love the old school, but it's fun. But anyway, if you are a, a younger person who, like, I know everything's up on YouTube, so you guys have probably seen a lot of this, but you should own the old school Batman the Animated Series box sets. They're easy to get. They're fun. Um, there's four volumes. The fourth volume is actually the new Batman Adventures, but the first three volumes are the old school Batman the Animated Series that I grew up with from ages, like, 11 to 14, and where I fell in love with Harley, and where most of us met Harley for the first time. So, and not just the young kids, like if you're an older Batman fan and, and you don't own those, you should buy them. I don't know if Paulini and Bruce Timm get a little, I don't know how much of that action they're getting, but they're Harley's daddies and we should help them out wherever we can. Plus, when we buy that stuff, they make more of it for us. A lot of us geeks are getting old and having real jobs and can afford to buy. So if you're a kid, yeah, put it, put it, ask Santa Claus for it, save up your pennies, watch the old school Batman the Animated Series. It's good stuff. The Joker has pupils. It's exciting. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's my old lady rant. And get off my lawn. Um, so yeah, another thing, like, I like costumes and I also like Harley, so I'm always looking for people who do cool Batman costumes. Um, so if you like my videos and like Harley stuff, like, you probably already know both these things, but just in case you don't, um, Gotham Public Works is a really, really cool um, costuming cosplay group. Um, they have amazing costumes. They put a lot of effort and work um, into their costumes and getting them done. And um, they're lovely. And they're, they have Mad Hatter now, who is actually, um, if you've ever seen Mr. Mom, the kid from Mr. Mom is actually, he hangs out in cosplays now apparently. He's their Mad Hatter. But um, their Harley is amazing. She was declared the official Harley Quinn by uh, Paul Dini a few years ago. She's gorgeous. So check them out. They're fun. I know they've been working on, on sort of an independent film. Um, I'm not sure where they are with that, but check out their website. Um, the other thing I want to tell you is if you're a Harley fan, you have probably encountered Harley's Haven, um, which has been around for like over a decade now. I know when I was in junior high and high school, just getting into Harley, it was like the place to go for information about Harley. Um, what I didn't know was the woman who created this website, whose name is Elise, um, she is gorgeous and Australian and a burlesque performer mm -hmm. and has just recently gotten into costuming. So she has like a DeviantArt website and she just got on YouTube. She's got a lot of cool stuff and I'm guessing there's going to be a lot more great stuff coming from her. Very sexy. So um, I will post some links to her stuff because she's really fun. Um, and the last thing I have to update you guys on is that I just started a new geeky blog. It is called Geek Tears. Um, I cry very, very easily. So it is a website with me reacting to geeky things that have made me cry or just telling you about geeky things that made me cry. So if you like geeky things or think it's entertaining when ladies cry, go check it out. Um, for the Batman fans among you, sometime in the next month or two, I will definitely post like a montage compilation of um, Batman the Animated Series moments that make me cry, um, of which there are a lot. So, mad love, 
check group in there. It'll definitely have like Mad Love and Hatter's Introduction episode, things like that. So check that out. Um, and again, just thank you guys very, very much for watching and subscribing and commenting and hanging out um, and being big geeks with me. I really appreciate it. So yay, 100,000 views. Thank you.